Okay, um, just want to talk a little bit about an improvement I made to the SS454 car that is available for sale. Um, I should have spent a couple of hours longer when I was doing these brackets and pulleys and stuff six months ago, and I didn't. So what we got here is a, a car that made it to Pennsylvania and back. Besides a bad pulley that I did have, I didn't have any trouble. But we ran into belts being too short, belts being too long. So that's what I want to talk a little bit about. And after all those belts was coming off and rubber being chewed from the front of the engine looked like an absolute, looked like it had 20,000 miles been put on it, not less than 2,000. So what I did is I just tore everything down back down to the to the water pump basically and I cleaned real well and done some masking and I uh, repainted the front of the engine and cleaned up the intake pretty good. I got to do a few touch-ups, some surface rust on these fittings. I'm going to do that probably before I go to the car show Saturday. But I just want to talk about a little bit of what, what I've done and how I made this car way better. And for anyone watching, this also applies if you got to you if you've got a 454 stock configuration, vintage air with the, the relocation pulley kit. So what I want to talk about is the belts and what I ended up doing. And I also... I want to talk about the, the part numbers to these belts. And um, what, um, what you may run into. So, all right, first I want to talk about the power steering pump. And I was using a stock 454 belt. It works great if you got everything where it used to be, but here, here's what a, here's what we had to do. With a stock belt, this bracket that I had already had shortened, the 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 steel ease bracket, and that bracket there rounded out. This bracket I had shortened, and this bracket I had rounded out by Philip Hartman, Hartman machine. Philip PH fabrication up here in Belton. Good thing I did because I ended up, I had to do that anyway, but it was still not enough. With a factory power steering belt, it would not clear. So the solution to that problem is the Gates 7400 belt. What it does, it brings your power steering pump down and allows you enough clearance here. Okay, well, the alternator belt I had was too long, and one reason it was too long was to get this up off the stupid power steering because the power steering was further back with that longer belt. So, to make it shorter again, we went with a Napa 7560, and you can, I'm sure you can cross-reference these belts if you have a preference. I really don't. Belts are a money racket. They want way too much money, but that is what I did this week. So, uh, as far as this car goes, <laughs> price don't increase. That, that It needed to be done. Um, I feel a whole lot better about whoever gets this car uh, that this is right now and not going to have any trouble. And also, me driving this car around, because I have been driving it quite a bit, um, is not going to have any trouble. I also wanted to briefly talk about the air conditioning belt. This is a, no, it's not green for Christmas. It is a green reinforced belt. It's what Vintage Air calls for. It comes from Napa. This is about a 30-something dollar belt. I don't have the, the package it came in, but your configuration on your particular car, whether you've got a small block, big block, 
will vary on the length, but this is what you got to have. It'll be a green reinforced belt. I also wanted to mention, uh, I could stand a belt maybe an inch shorter, but for now, this good and tight. And also you say, well, how tight you need your belts? Well, that's about how tight you want your belts. You don't want to see them flopping. You want to make sure you run everything and test it. Okay, so that being said, if you have any trouble on belts down the road in your own projects or cars, this is what you want. If you're running this setup, alternator on the on the 60 pre-68, um these brackets make be able to put the alternator compressor back to pre-68 style. Um after dealing with all this nonsense, I can honestly see the benefit of having a serpentine setup. I didn't want to spend probably, God, probably thousands of, I didn't, a stock serpentine setup off of a 454 in the late 80s, early 90s is ugly. Not pretty at all. So on an older car, you want to go with a aftermarket. But it's very, very expensive. So I stuck with them, and I wanted to keep this car looking somewhat stock. So I went with the stock, you know, setup. It is a long throw with the alternator way out here and the compressor way out here. It's kind of, but it is what it is. It does make for a lot neater job when you got the air conditioning hoses running directly to the compressor, not all the way across the engine. So anyway, that's all. That's what I wanted to talk about. Again, with this setup, uh, these are the belts that I used, power steering, alternator. Keep in mind that with this exact setup, you're going to have to modify this bracket, and you're gonna probably have to modify that one. I had that one rounded out just to make sure it was gonna clear. It was very close. And if you let one of these loosen up and something moves just a little bit, you got trouble. So that's why I had the that's why I had this bracket modified. This one here had to be modified. I had it shortened a little bit. They done a nice job. So um anyway, uh I gotta get my new hood insulation on here where the belts flew off and tore it up. But anyway, that's all. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope this is helpful to someone down the road. And if you're viewing this video, uh, this is a great improvement and a final and permanent fix to the uh, belt length issues that I had. So I basically just went back in review. I basically went back to the drawing board. I also went back to the chrome pulley that has the drop down. Uh, the, the alternator place has got a drop down pulley, unlike the stock pulley I was using, just like the one that blew up into my face on the way to Pennsylvania. Um, it allowed that belt just a little bit extra length and it worked out perfect. I could not ask for any better on this setup. So anyway, thanks for watching. That's what I wanted to talk about. Good luck with your project. Again, part numbers. Hope that helps. See you next time.